So I was getting sick of my stock Seiko SKX uh, Jubilee bracelet and the Oyster bracelet that I replaced it with. So I go ahead and heat up some water with my new stock SKX rubber strap. Now I'm going to pour that boiling water into this mug where my watch is molded into the mug in a circular shape to keep its form, to keep a nice form. As you can see, I'm pouring the boiling water in there. Don't worry, the Seiko SKX will survive. It is ISO rated. And I'm going to let this water sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and let it cool down. And my strap should be conformed, uh, you know, ready to wear on my wrist, considering the stock SKX rubber strap is pretty rough straight out of the box. Now here you can see there's a perfect circular bend in my rubber strap, which was not there when I first put it in. It was perfectly straight and really tough. And now it, I should be able to fit it on my wrist. As you can see, it fits perfectly on my wrist. It's super comfortable and it fits really nice and I have no problem with it now. So if you have a stock SKX rubber strap and you need to, you know, kind of break it in, this can be done in 10 minutes, as easy as you just saw. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, a short little video here on how to kind of bend your rubber strap or break it in. Anyway, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more watches coming in for review. Definitely check out my blog at watchaddictchannel.com, at watchaddictchannel on Instagram. Bye.